What's up guys? You may recall that I did a six part SSTO not too long ago, but I thought I could do one better. Wings were too much. No electricity sources. No nothing. Just a cockpit, an air intake, some fuel, and an engine. That's all you need to get into space. Okay, but seriously now. Um, yeah, I, I did this just to see if I could actually do it. Just to see if I could get something like this out into space. And I succeeded. Um, I'm going to edit this video quite a bit though because it tends to get a little bit laggy. And I know you don't want to watch 40 minutes of that. Because that would get boring really quickly. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm just going to start throttling up here. And it's this thing is actually really easy to fly even though it's got a lack of control surfaces on it. Uh, the one thing I will say though is because it doesn't have any kind of fuel source because the Rapier engine does not produce electricity. I guess that was one of the ways they tried to balance it out a little bit. I don't know. All the engine, almost all the other engines make electricity. Anyway, this engine does not produce electricity, so the SAS, you have to keep a very close eye on as you fly it. Because, um, as you can expect, it will suck electricity away in this particular cockpit. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. And good dinner. Uh, anyway, this particular cockpit uh, has only about 50 units of electricity, so you got to keep a close eye on it. Um, you're going to want to keep punching it up till about 11,000 meters, and then slowly start to tilt it over, just like any other old-fashioned gravity turn. Um, that's the direction I decided to start doing it at. But you also have to keep an eye on your air intake, just like any other you know, airplane or whatever. And you just have to kind of gently caress it and tweak it and keep an eye on it. So here at about 18,000, I uh, I punch it all the way over, just keep it flat because because this doesn't have any wings or anything like that. It does make it a little difficult to keep the balance um, nice and pretty because you have to use the thrust to keep yourself up as well as going forward. Versus where when you have wings, you can use the wings to keep it up and flat, and the thrust just to push you forward. So you have to do kind of dual purpose here. That makes your drag profile a little bit not fun, but you know whatever. Just kind of skip along the surface here. Um, yeah, I took this as a nice, ah, nice, pretty, gorgeous, artistic shot. Yeah, I love moments like this in KSP. Ah, so pretty, shiny, pretty, with fires threatening to burn my pilot alive into a crisp. It's okay, he has health insurance. Yeah, but who needs health insurance? Health insurance is overrated. Of course he's going to make it and survive and all that fun stuff. Anyway, um, so I like to push it along as fast as I can at this point when you're hovering between the like max amount of altitude you can get while still in atmosphere and all that. Um, and I want to push it until about 14 to 1500 meters per second. That's about as fast as I can get before it burns out. And then I use the manual mode because I, I like doing things manually. Um, and then once you kick it over to the closed in intake system, or closed system, whatever they call it, then you're going to start pushing up to about 45 degrees because you're already up there out pretty far in the atmosphere. Um, so it's not going to take that much to push it the rest of the way out. And then once you get beyond to like the upper three quarters of the atmosphere, it makes it really easy. And then I get the Apple apps to about 70 to 80,000 meters. And then go completely flat and just circularize the rest of your orbit. And you have enough fuel to do this, so don't worry about that. That's the, the reason I have the extra large fuel tank on there. Um, because my original S the six-part SSTO had a very limited capability because of how little fuel I had. Um, but yeah, so this one's got enough to do anything like that. And as you can see, I do it very inefficiently. I'm just like, I was tired. I didn't care. I'm like, screw it. I'm just going to burn until I make an orbit, which I'm about to do right about here because once you get about above 69,000 I believe is the uppermost limit um, that you need to do um, but yeah there you go you got a four part SSTO that can make a stable orbit no knickknackery or foolery or tom or anything like that and that's all you need it's been Chozo Nomad and I'll see you next time